Kevin Knecht AG specializes in highly complex tunneling project made to customer specification. Therefore, the machine is specifically designed and manufactured to cope with the prevailing geological and hydrological conditions. This ensures maximum efficiency, environmental compatibility and safety when the tunneling project is on its way. Our film shows the structure of two of the most important types of machines made by Herrenknecht AG and how they work. The liquid supported mix shield offers the best solution for successful tunneling in loose soils of all kinds and in heterogeneous geological conditions and cohesive formations. Even high groundwater levels can be safely handled using this method. The EPB shield is the first choice in homogeneous cohesive soils. The liquid supported mix shield, shown here, consists of a cutting wheel with a center free ring drive and special tool arrangement, the excavation chamber, the submerged wall open at the bottom, the pressure wall and the face support plates. The stone crusher. The feed line for bentonite, the slurry line for soil bentonite mixture, and the compressed air line. The thrust cylinders to provide the thrust force, colored yellow, cylinders for the axial displacement of the cutting wheel for changing tools, colored green, as well as articulation cylinders for driving curves. Compressed air locks for access to the excavation chamber. And the erector for installing the segmental lining. All the jobs, from excavating the soil to installing the lining, are carried out under the protection of the shield. In the case of the liquid supported mix shield, a bentonite suspension acts as a supporting and transporting medium. The suspension is fed into the annulus behind the excavation chamber via a feed line. Here, a mixture of the bentonite suspension and the excavated soil is created, which is pumped into a separation plant via a slurry line. There, the bentonite is recovered and can be immediately pumped back to the excavation chamber. The stability of the face is ensured by a filter cake placed ahead of it, formed by the bentonite suspension under slight overpressure. A compressed air chamber behind the submerged wall makes it possible to precisely regulate the pressure and thus guarantees the stability of the face even under difficult conditions. An EPB shield consists of the widely closed cutting wheel with special tools arrangement and a center free ring drive. A pressure wall with stators which form the excavation chamber together with the cutting wheel. A screw conveyor and a conveyor belt to transport muck. thrust cylinders and articulation cylinders for inclining the tail skin when driving curves. A compressed airlock. And the erector.
In contrast to the bentonite shield, in the case of the EPB shield, the excavated soil itself acts as a supporting medium. To be able to fulfill this function, it must first be turned into a plastified consistency. Depending on the local conditions, this is done by the controlled injection of conditioning agents, such as foam. This makes it possible to reduce the drive torque and cut down wear at the same time. The foam is injected into the soil ahead via nozzles installed on the cutting wheel. Once the soil has been prepared in this way, it is no problem to transport it from the excavation chamber via a screw conveyor or onto a conveyor belt. From here, it will be further transported via rail or lorry. In the case of the EPB shield, the pressure for supporting the shield is controlled by the coordinated control of advancement speed and the screw speed. The excavation chamber will be filled to ensure adequate support of the face at all times and to be able to react correspondingly to pressures from the earth or groundwater.